Section sixty eight of Poems by Currer, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Elizabeth Clatt. The Elder's Rebuke by Emily Bronte. Listen. When your hair like mine takes a tint of silver grey, When your eyes with dimmer shine watch life's bubbles float away, When you, young man, have borne like me the weary weight of sixty-three, Then shall penance sore be paid for those hours so wildly squandered, And the words that now fall dead on your ear be deeply pondered, Pondered and approved at last, but their virtue will be past. Glorious is the prize of duty, though she be a serious power. Treacherous all the lures of beauty, thorny bud and poisonous flower. Mirth is but a mad beguiling of the golden gifted time. Love a demon meteor, willing heedless feet to gulfs of crime. Those who follow earthly pleasure, heavenly knowledge will not lead. Wisdom hides from them her treasure, virtue bids them evil speed. Vainly may their hearts, repenting, seek for aid in future years. Wisdom scorned knows no relenting, virtue is not won by fears. Thus spake the ice-blooded elder Grey. The young man scoffed as he turned away, turned to the call of a sweet lute's measure, wakened by the lightsome touch of pleasure. Had he ne'er met a gentler teacher, woe had been wrought by that pitiless preacher. End of section sixty eight.